Over the weekend, there was a fatal crash involving a Tesla Model S in Spring, Texas. One person was sitting in the passenger seat and the other was sitting in the back. According to Constable Mark Herman, the head of the Harris County Police that responded to the crash said, I can tell you our investigators are certain no one was in the driver's seat at the time of the crash. Elon Musk later confirmed that the autopilot was not engaged in the vehicle based on the data they could receive and that the vehicle did not have full self-driving. Elon also said that the autopilot would have not engaged to begin with because there were not any lines on the road for the car to create a driving course. This event brings Tesla into the spotlight and again raises the question, is autopilot safe? The first thing to note is that autopilot is not full self-driving, so there does need to be a human in the driver's seat at all times. Autopilot is only a driving assist, and it does not drive for you. Autopilot allows the car to stay in the lanes on the road if and only if there are road lines to begin with. Autopilot also will stop and slow the car if another vehicle in front of you is stopped or slowing down. Never is there a time when the Tesla should be unmanned in the driver's seat while using autopilot. There are also safety measures in place to make sure that you're using autopilot correctly. The first one is that the car can recognize if there's weight in the driver's seat in order to actually engage the autopilot to begin with. Secondly, you also must have your hands on the wheel. So the autopilot will disengage if you do not have your hands on the wheel and are showing that you're engaged in the driving after so many seconds. And lastly, the autopilot also does limit your speed and it does let you speed per se, but it will not let you go over a certain limit. So there are multiple measures in place to avoid misuse. If you're interested in learning more about autopilot, I've made a video of a full autopilot review. I will link it above and in the description down below. The Tesla Model S, Model X, and Model 3 have achieved the lowest overall probability of injury of any vehicle ever tested by the U.S. government's new car assessment program. The battery is located at the bottom of the car and it's its main driver of safety as it pertains to low crumple zones and also a uniquely low center of gravity. Not only is the Tesla safe in its structural design, but also in the integrated technology as well. Elon Musk stated that Teslas with the autopilot engaged were involved in just one accident for every 4.19 million miles driven in the first quarter of this year, compared to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration data that shows one crash in every 484,000 miles for human-operated cars. When autopilot is engaged, Tesla is also collecting the data and analyzing it to improve the autopilot experience. Tesla is leading the charge in autopilot and full self-driving, and they are just testing and learning in order to continuously make their product better. This is not to get confused with being reckless by any means, as Tesla is very picky about what they do release to the public. Also, they are able to release new updates over the air and also can release them at whim after the vehicles have already been delivered. Their continuous updates and improvements to autopilot also show in their data. In Q4 of 2020, they registered one accident every 3.4 million miles driven while autopilot was engaged compared to one in 4.19 million in Q1 of 2021. After using autopilot for months now, I personally think that autopilot is safe. You must be using autopilot as a driving assist and not as full self-driving. I personally have felt like my drive has felt safer and I've just been more at ease when I've been using autopilot, especially when I've been driving on the highways. I really like having the autopilot on because it does see all the hazards around me and I do feel like it's been a safer ride while using autopilot. If you're interested in learning more about Teslas, I do post videos every Thursday and Saturday. Also, just thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this was something that I was a little bit more nervous about posting about because it is so sensitive in the media today, but I did want to give you my perspective on autopilot, especially since I have been using it for months now in my personal Tesla. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video.